fish go to school? Trout in the classroom. Sarah Gardner and myself, uh, we wrote the grant to uh, uh, promote conservatory measures upon uh, the environment. Uh, it's not just about raising the fish in the classroom, it's about also teaching the kids about water conservation and raising the eggs to, to fingerlings and then releasing them into nature. After a year-long um, curriculum and watching these fishies grow, we got to give the kids an, op uh, an opportunity to bring it to this culminating event. We were told early, and I went to a class, and they said you would be lucky to have 10 fish. Because in nature, out of 300 f eggs that are laid, only one actually will survive. And uh, <clears throat> we were fortunate enough to have 193 viable eggs come to us, and we just released over 100 trout. This is the second year that they've applied and received money from the HHEF, Education Foundation for Innovative Learning Grants. Um, and they had the creative idea of, in, um, of incorporating science with environmental science to give kids real live experience raising trout and then being able to watch their life cycle and releasing them into the, into the wild as we are here in Tyler State Park. The students got the opportunity to watch the eggs develop. So they got to see every stage of life for the trout, which is something that second grade is in second grade curriculum. Anyway, it's life cycles. So, and fourth grade studies watersheds. So trout in the classroom was really this perfect opportunity to bring their curriculums to life, really. All the land you see is called a watershed because all the land, is, all the water that falls into this area is gonna go where? Into, into that lake. The Enviroscape is, uh, perfect for this day because it talks about water conservation and how, you know, runoff from uh, the, the roads, how um, factory pollution, cars running around all the time, and uh, pesticides being used in farms. And then they soak it down with rain and they realize that all the water goes into the watershed, like right here where they release the trout. This group has found a lot of animal tracks. Why don't you come down here? The second station is a scavenger hunt where the kids are looking for things that are in nature and out of nature that should be here and shouldn't be here. We have a station that's for packets to kind of just uh, give them some background. They get to make poems. They get to do a little bit of literature um, to tie that in to what they've learned about the brook trout. How many have fished? How many have caught a fish? Awesome. The last station, they're learning how to fly fish, so we get a little bit of physical education in there. And they're getting some, uh, getting some activity with uh, fly fishing. So we were lucky enough to have Mr. Rich come over, volunteer his time. Uh, he brought the fish here for us today, and um, he's teaching the kids how to fly fish. Fly fishing is another way to get kids out into nature for the rest of their lives, really. So, you know, the whole point of this project really was one, water conservation, but it was also to sort of get the kids excited. If we can find one thing that a student loves about being in school and gets excited about, that's what we want to bring to them.